Hi and welcome back. If you have any type of experience of working with projects, you must know that there will be huge amount of information exchanged throughout the course of a project's life cycle. As a project team member or as a project manager, we should ensure to present the right type of information both effectively and efficiently. This could be achieved by selecting the right type of tools for reporting and presenting. Dashboards and project management are key and essential tools to present the right type of information effectively and efficiently and share it with the right stakeholders. In today's video, we will concentrate on preparing dynamic project dashboards using Microsoft Excel and pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. As you can see in this table, if I click one project, the information for that specific project will be shown in here. If I select a number of projects, the information will be shown for all the projects that I have selected. I haven't added the data labels in here, but if you click any of the bars, for example in this case, you will see that the blue bar represents the sum of actual expenses for project number one, which is 10,000 US dollars in here. The yellow bars on the other hand represent the planned expenses, which is 7,500 for project number one. In the line charts in here, we have the number of resolved issues versus the number of total issues. Besides filtering the charts using the project names, you can filter out the charts using the project manager's names as well. For example, let's go and select person number one. In today's video, I am going to show you how to prepare such a dynamic dashboard using Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. In here, as you can see, we have the data in which we have the project name, the project manager name, actual expenses, and other information about the projects. The first step in here is to convert this data into a table. To do that, click anywhere inside the data, hold Ctrl plus T. If you have headers in your table, make sure to check this part. Then click OK. Our data will be converted into a table. Now we will analyze this data using pivot tables. In order to create a pivot table out of this table, Click anywhere inside the table, go to insert, from here click pivot table. You'll create our pivot table in a new worksheet and click OK. In this pivot table, we will select the project name, the actual expenses, and the planned expenses. I won't need the totals in here, so I'll click inside the table and go to pivot table tools. From the options, I will remove the totals both for columns and the rows and click OK. Next thing is to convert these numbers to currency. Right click, go to number format, from here we'll go to currency and the decimal points will be zero and click OK. We will do the same for the next one. Now that we have this pivot table, we will insert a pivot chart for this one. We'll click the pivot chart in here, go to bars and I'll select the first one and click OK. In order to remove these buttons, go to pivot chart tools I will unselect this one. Now I will create another pivot table for the project manager and the number of issues per project manager. Again I will go to insert, go to pivot table, I will create the pivot table in the new worksheet and in here I will select the project manager name, number of issues and resolved issues. In here I will remove the totals as I did for the previous one. Go to options, from here I will go to total and filters and we will uncheck these two. For this, I'll insert a line chart. I'll go to pivot chart. From here, I'll go to line. I'll select the first one and click OK. I'll remove these buttons by clicking pivot chart tools and hiding the buttons from here. In the next pivot table, we will have the project name and the number of risks in each project. Again, I'll go to insert pivot table, insert the pivot table into a new worksheet, and in here, we will have the project name, a number of risks, and I'll remove the total from here, go to options, and in totals and filters, we will uncheck these two, click OK, and for this one, I will insert a donut chart. I'll go to donut chart, 
and click OK. For the next pivot table, you will have the project name versus the number of issues and the number of resolved issues. I'll go to Insert, select Pivot Table, and in here, I'll create a new pivot table. In here, I'll have the project name, number of issues, number of resolved issues, and in the next step, let's go and remove the totals from here. And lastly, we will create the pivot chart, which will be an area chart for this one. And click OK. Now, I will copy all of the charts into our dashboard sheet. So I'll go here, I'll copy this chart and paste it into the dashboard sheet. And I'll go and copy the rest of the charts as well. In this stage, we have all our charts, and the only thing remaining in here is to add the dynamics to our charts. And we will do that using the slicers. So I'll click any of the charts and go to Pivot Chart Tools. In here, I'll click Insert a Slicer. I will insert two slicers, one for the project name, another for the project manager name. And click OK. Now, since we have inserted the slicers only for this chart, if we click any of the projects, the information will be filtered out for that specific chart. In order to connect the slicer to other charts as well, we'll click the slicer and the slicer tools will go to report connections and here we'll connect it to all the other charts and click OK. Now if I remove the filter, information for all the projects will be selected. If I select, for example, a number of projects from here, the information specifically for those projects will be shown in here. I'll do the same for the next slicer. I'll go to Report Connection and connect it to the other pivot tables and pivot charts in here. And click OK. Now, if I click any of the people in here, the information will be filtered out for the specific project manager. Furthermore, we can edit our slicers as we did in our previous dashboard. In order to do that, make sure you click any of the slicers Click here, from here we'll go to New Slicer Style. For example, for the whole slicer, I'll go to Format and the Fill, and for the Fill, I'll go and select a specific color and click OK. If I click OK, the fill for this slicer will change. We can do further formatting using the same method for the header, for the project names, and everything. And here, I have a predefined slicer style which I will use for both of the slicers in here. I'll click this style for this slicer and click the next slicer and apply the same style to that slicer as well. If I remove the filters, the information will be shown for all the projects. So this is how you can prepare a dynamic project dashboard using slicers and pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.